Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Plichta, and I'm the director of the Breast Risk Assessment Clinic at the Duke Cancer Institute. So I usually recommend that a woman go through her first breast cancer risk assessment around the age of 25, which I know seems young, but the only way to know that I should screen you at a young age is if I met you at a young age. When a woman comes in and we start talking about her risk factors for breast cancer, there are really five things that I like to go over. What is your gender? What is your age? What is your breast tissue makeup? Your genetic history, but then also your lifestyle factors. Just being a woman is gonna increase your risk of breast cancer more than any other risk factor. And so important for all women to know that you are all at risk for breast cancer. So when thinking about age, it's actually a little bit more complicated than it sounds. If you start having periods at a younger age, it's going to increase your risk. If she had children at an older age, that can also increase her risk of breast cancer. If you go through menopause at an older age, it's gonna increase your risk. As a woman gets older, her risk of breast cancer goes up. Genetic risk can actually come from both sides of your family. So women will often ask me, well, my mom didn't have breast cancer, so how does this really affect me? Interestingly though, it can actually also come from your father's side of the family. You wanna know, has anyone in the family had cancer? And it's gonna be best if it, we know it for your parents, your siblings, might seem obvious, but also your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, and even your first cousins. So I generally think of breast tissue makeup as coming into two different buckets. And the first bucket is gonna be if a woman has ever had a breast biopsy. When that breast biopsy shows some atypical or abnormal cells, that actually will increase your risk of breast cancer. The second bucket comes into what a woman's tissue looks like on a mammogram. And having dense tissue can actually make it more difficult to find breast cancers. And certain women with extremely dense breast tissue probably do also have a slightly increased risk of developing breast cancer. So when it comes to a few lifestyle habits that can help decrease your risk of breast cancer, it's gonna be things like minimizing your alcohol intake, exercising on a regular basis, but then also maintaining a healthy weight. We know that in the United States, breast cancer is incredibly common, right? One in eight women will develop breast cancer at some point during her lifetime. However, there are other women out there whose risk might be one in five or one in three. I mean, it can be dramatically different based on what her risk factors are. While I think it's important that every woman get a mammogram, probably starting at the age of 40, there may be women out there, like yourself or others, who need other things. You might not need just a mammogram, but also maybe a breast MRI. Maybe you need to meet with our genetics team. And during that visit, we're gonna go over all of those things. What are your risk factors and what's gonna be your plan?